Howdy folks, welcome back to the lab, where today I'm finally making a start on trying to clear my amplifier service stack, or at least the transistor hi-fi amp part of that stack. Uh, what we've got here is a big pile of um, old amps that have done various service over the years. Uh, I probably don't really need any more, but it'd be good to have them working so they can go to new homes. Uh, what we've got is a Technics SUV550. Uh, which I think at the time of storage just needed a new volume pot because it had gone crackly, but it may have decayed since. Uh, Technics SU7100, I have no idea where this came from, I don't remember ever using it or who gave it to me. The volume knob is a bit wobbly which doesn't feel very good, but no, and that could be complete scrap for all I know. Harman Kardon PM650, bit of a brute, volume goes up to 40. Um, this was my main amplifier for quite a long time and it sounded pretty nice but eventually ended up with some kind of weird DC biasing issue where um, you could never quite get it into calibration it would drift around probably a capacitor going off somewhere um, you know if you left it on soak all day to warm up it would kind of be okay you could trim it but it would be wrong the next time you turned it on um, and if I remember rightly there's also some damage to the phono preamp where it got some current passed through it with a bit of dodgy grounding. I think it blew some tracks off. Um, Trio KR2010L, uh, which just stopped working one day and found that the thermal trip in the power transformer had gone and that it was buried inside the transformer, so it was essentially scrap at that point. I uh, put a toroid in it um, and it blows the fuse on the inrush current every time. Um, so that's a slightly trickier one, either find a replacement transformer or do something tricksy with charging up the cap slowly when you first turn it on with a resistor and a relay. So that's a bit of a pain. And on the top here, this rather cute little Sony TA70, which again, just went off one day having blown its main fuse. Uh, I tried sticking another fuse in it and went straight away. Probably one of the main capacitors gone short, um, which is a shame because it's a rather cute little thing. It's got this nice, actual wood case, it's veneer, but still, it's actually veneer over wood, uh, which has got a bit of a crack in it, but I think we can repair that. Um, so I'm going to go for the low hanging fruit on what's hopefully, hopefully a fairly easy fix, and also it's the one that's on the top, and have a look at this cute little Sony. Okay, so we're in. As you can see, it's a Fairly simple little thing. It's another of these um, single rail jobs like the Armstrong I worked on recently. Uh, all the transistors are MPNs and there's DC blocking caps here and here. Um, so there's just one big main reservoir cap on this board. Uh, there's a few here uh, in the mains and then one big cap and another smaller cap with a resistor. Now my guess is that this cap's gone bad in a way that's shorted. Um, but before I start tearing it to bits, I'm just going to run it with a light bulb in series. With my amazing test rig here, and a lamp, um, and just see if I get any voltage across that cap at all. Uh, because you know, if it comes up a bit and then stops, then you know, we might suggest other stuff that's faulty. But let's have a go. Yeah, zero. Now I'm going to lift the feed to the rest of the amp off. I've got to do that anyway to get this board out. So I'm just going to pull that off and then power it again and make sure that it is actually this cap. Yeah, still zero, which is good. It means it's confined to this block, or I suppose the transformer, or it could be a diode. Let's have a quick look at those diodes. I'm pretty suspicious about these diodes. Um, they look pretty crusty, and one of them had some sort of silver oozing from the side, and it seems like it's got a cracked body. I can't measure them in circuit, because it's kind of a two half-wave rectifier thing. It's got the center tap transformer, and each leg gets its own diode. So I'm going to pull one of these out and measure it out of circuit. I'm sure I've got some more diodes knocking around. Uh, 
Yeah, that's dead. Now, it could have been killed by the cap going, of course. Mm, the other diodes. Mm, don't know. It could have been killed by the current drawn by the cap, but um, I'll take the other one out and we'll check the transformer. Okay, so the transformer is at least not a dead shot. 50 something volts DC on the AC on the output. Seems a bit high to be honest, but um, yeah, that's fine. Uh, we've got a little bit of lighting on our series safety lamp. Um, a little bit of current drawn by the there's a six volt or something lamp on the front of the amp so transformer's good I'm gonna put some new diodes in and uh, retest DC volts Forty. Not dancing around too much, so probably not awful ripple. I am going to reassemble it and see how it sounds. Right, <clears throat> got my top quality test speakers connected up. Obviously, I'm not going to trust it with anything half decent until it's been on soak for a while. Let's power it up. Yeah. Bit of the hum as you'd expect. Turn it up. Yeah, fair amount of hum. I'll probably replace that capacitor anyway, but let's pass some sound through it, shall we? Seems like a nice easy win. It wants a capacitor, but it'll run with what it's got for now. And well, I might try the uh, spray cleaner trick on the volume pot, but it probably wants a new one. Probably reasonable to reassemble and um, move on. There we go then, all back together. I'll come back to this and do a recap when I've got the right parts in. But um, for now, that is one more amp working than there was before. Probably makes sense to split these one video per amp. So uh, for now, thanks for watching. And if you want to see the next one up, probably the Technics, then uh, don't forget to click subscribe. Bye for now.